Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Sadly, this is a commiserations video, a respect and RIP going out to the family of Gabriel Petito, aka Gabby. Sadly, uh, for, for those people waking up, especially this part of the hemisphere, we'll be waking up to the tragic news that. Gabrielle's body was found in Southeast Florida. The backstory is the police were asking people who are along that area to please go over their footage of any, you know, if if they'd taken any videos, just to go over it, see if they see if they find anything of concern. A member of the public did who, who happened to be in that specific area and what do you know he sees a, a white van and he thought you know that could be of concern and it and it wasn't exactly where the police was so he gave that information to the police well the FBI as such and uh, then there was a news com a news uh, a news conference and this is what was said Earlier today, human remains were discovered, consistent with the description of Gabrielle Gabby Petito. Full forensic identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby, but her family has been notified of this discovery. The cause of death has not been determined at this time. We appreciate your continued support and patience as we work through this process. Well, as you heard, it, 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 it was getting emotional there, to be honest with you. Uh, it's sad. We don't know at this moment in time what, you know, what, what the current situation is, whether it's classed as a, a murder or whatnot, but now it's kind of ma making sense why Brian uh, Laundre, or however you pronounce his name, didn't want to... Uh, say anything and and he kept quiet with his constitutional rights and I, and now we know because obviously it would have put a timeline in now they've identified the body as such through tattoos although it, do, it will take one to two days you know for uh, the DNA to be checked but first of all the FBI, FBI have to wait for the coroner and then the body, this is what I'm presuming by the, uh, by the research what I've done before, you know, before I started making this. And the coroner has to get there, but, and then they won't want to move the body because obviously there might be some kind of evidence there, you know, could be evidence there, no matter what it is. I'm imagining that as soon as, uh, the coroner gives a whether it's going to be a murder or, or not just on a preliminary check whether Bri well, Brian Laundrie is now going to be uh, you know he's going to be wanted isn't he regardless he's going from a person of interest now to a, a suspect so there's a lot of uh, things what it people are saying it's going to have to be te checked toxicology reports whether it was a drug overdose but you know looking at you could see that they weren't on drugs and that normally takes a couple of days so that was found in southeast florida they will be looking to see whether there's any uh, neck injuries affliction we all know that you know if it's a crime of passion it's normally strangulation so I don't like saying these but it's just from what I've just been looking up what they're gonna look whether there's any neck bone injuries as such things like that hemorrhages and I don't want to go into too much detail but sadly people especially in England and like I say Europe etc will be waking up now to this news and in America and that part I suppose you will have already been hearing this right now so this is how the story stands and I was going to cover this but you know I just thought I'll wait and show respect but you know what do you know what 
takes the mick as well. I checked up an armchair de detective and, and, and he was covering this case and and he was looking at some van pictures and going into oh there could be some evidence buried here and it looks like this and then people in the comment section were saying tell the police and AD was saying oh well the police will be watching me anyway what the hell it's like can you not scoop so low at these last days of his channel and just you know it's just a joke but we will be hearing more news within the day. This is just a sad news regarding Gabby Petito. Much respect and, you know, prayers to the family. We'll see what happens from now and I'll give an update soon. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. Thank you. You all take care. Catch you on the rebound. Bye.